Animation, as a creative medium, is one of the most intricate and interesting forms of motion picture that we as audiences are exposed to. Audiences are saturated with the ever-expanding amount of cartoon television series, computer-generated imagery in film, and stop-motion flicks. However, animation is not just exclusive to televisions or cinemas. This incredibly complex and diverse medium has also surfaced in the music world, and has been implemented into music videos over the past few decades. Music videos are interesting case studies anyway, without the inclusion of animation, as their purpose is to contribute to the entertainment value of a song, as well as depict the meaning of the song in a way that the lyrics perhaps can't. Animation has been studied and theorised vigorously over time, with many literary critics sharing their thoughts on this particular style. One such theorist is Paul Wells, whose 1998 book, Understanding Animation, has helped shape the ways in which audiences view animation. Wells, who was fascinated by the characteristics of animation, formulated a graph which allowed animations to be grouped into one of two types, orthodox and experimental. Throughout this video essay, I'll be referring to this graph in order to debate which of these groups my three case studies belong to. Wells divided his graph into two halves, one representing orthodox animation and the other representing experimental animation. Orthodox animations are ones that we, as audiences, are exposed to frequently, such as Family Guy and The Simpsons. Wells labelled this type of animation as a cell animation, and accused, and accused its proliferation of overshadowing the styles and approaches adopted by other animators. Paul Wells then went on to label cell animations as the most commonly seen form of animation, before stating that this therefore means it constitutes what may be understood as orthodox animation. The music video for Glass Animals 2014 single, Pools, demonstrates a perfect example of stop-motion animation through the use of plasticine and wooden figures and characters. The storyline of the video itself is disjointed, with no clear equilibrium. This distinct lack of narrative structure immediately indicates that the use of animation within the video is certainly not orthodox. Wells' graph describes orthodox animations as ones that contain specific continuity and narrative form. Instead, the video denotes a more interpretive form due to its fragmented and confusing nature. There is no clear storyline for the audience to follow, which contributes to the hallucinating imagery and strange lyrics of the song. The video depicts a perplexed-looking, seemingly unnerved plasticine boy travelling cautiously through a vibrantly coloured jungle setting, encountering sh strange, shape-shifting beings. The meaning of the video is also unclear but the text exemplifies the use of stop-motion animation to the max, further contributing to the abstract, abnormal style of the video. Take On Me has a music video that appears to break the distinct barrier between fiction and real life by creating interaction between a person and a cartoon that then goes on to spend some of the video as an actual person itself. By breaking down the barrier between fiction and reality in this manner, the video could be seen as unorthodox in terms of its animation. This apparent breaking of the fourth wall is not rare in animation. One of the most notable examples of, the, of this is the Looney Tunes sk sketch Duck and Muck, where Daffy Duck is shown roaming through an incomplete cartoon world. In order to progress through the world, Daffy, Mu Daffy takes it upon himself to direct the illustrator, who in turn creates different scenes for Daffy to venture through. Come the end of the sketch, Daffy turns and addresses the audience before being erased by the illustrator, ending the video. The video for Take On Me contrasts with Wells' belief, which suggests that cell animation, which is seen as the most commonly produced form of cartoon, remains in a fixed, two-dimensional style throughout their duration and does not mix with three-dimensional modes. This particular feature of animation is displayed through the interaction between the male protagonist and a cartoon version of his female counterpart. The two interact physically by staring at each other through an open doorway. The physical connection between 2D animation and 3D modes is also seen prior to the aforementioned scene, where the female protagonist ends up holding the hand of a cartoon character that arises from the table beneath her. The video for 192000 incorporates a mixture of different animation mediums or styles. As usual, the characters of the gorillas group are depicted in their cartoon personas that are drawn in a cell animation style. However, during the video, the four characters enter a vehicle and encounter different terrains that change from cell animation to computer animation. 
this particular feature of animation conforms to the experimental side of Wells' diagram of orthodoxy. When looking at the graph, we can see that this use of animation is classed as experimental due to the inclusion of multiple styles on the respective side. To conclude, having studied these three music videos in accordance to Wells' graph of orthodoxy, it is safe to say that the use of animation in the music video intriguingly leans towards the experimental side rather than the orthodox side. We have discussed three videos and seen their styles and it is clear that the creative freedom that animation offers is well established and clearly utilised in music videos. The purpose of a music video is to add to the overall feeling and meaning of the video in a creative and stylistic way. I hope you have enjoyed this video essay. Thank you very much.